Wesley, you mentioned you're happy to win your first game, and now you won your first match. Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah, certainly. First Meltwater ma match win of the year. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I think the match w turned out pretty okay. Um, I think Arjun is a very strong player, but maybe he's focusing on classical chess. It seems his play here in Rapid seems to be a bit uncertain, like he's doubting himself. Uh, but he's very young, you know, he's very strong, and he's, got, he's gonna improve pretty soon, I'm sure. Magnus had mentioned that Arjun still struggles a little bit with his openings. Did you have the same feeling? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this match, for sure, he showed it. Um, I don't know, his classical opening seems to be pretty fine, because I remember we were preparing for him in the Olympiad, and he crushed Lanyard Dominguez with his F3 Nimso. And I was very pleased at that point because Levon was feeling sick. And if he played, then I would have black against Arjun. And that's the last thing I want for the last round, the Olympiad. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I think his openings are fine in classical. Maybe just here he is not really preparing too deeply, conserving his energy for the games. Maybe. Uh, but. Uh, it's pretty amazing then that he's reached so far, considering that his openings could use a little improvement. I, it's a good sign that uh, it's a good sign of a very talented player when they can reach that far. Undoubtedly, he's one of the biggest talents uh, currently. I want to ask you: Were you yes? Were you surprised, Wesley, with how quickly you got an edge out of the opening in the final game? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was. Uh, the answer is simple. He simply makes up his opening move order. Uh, he's supposed to play knight e4 first instead of bishop b4 check. And that way, if I play g3, he's got queen a5, queen a2. So <laughs> that's so funny how he played bishop b4 check first, how he, he just played it without thinking. I think he still couldn't move on from the loss in the second game. And uh, for the last round, he figured he just played quickly and try to get a bit edge on the clock, which he did. But with a 10 second increment, uh, it didn't uh, really work. Um, I, I saw this idea before Knight H4 in the Youth Championship, played by Ray Robson. Uh, I mean, Black can play Bishop E4 if he wants. I assume that's what Arjun was hoping for, like to get the structure where White has to play F3. Uh, but uh, <laughs> in the game, I had such a such a nice position. Uh, yeah, doesn't happen all the time. We we saw you play flawlessly after getting that out of the opening, and we've seen Thank this you. often in uh, must-win situations. If you're down by two points, it really affects the quality of play and the decision when you know that you have to just go all out. Yeah, for sure. Having to mean, I mean, there's pressure for both sides. Uh, happened to me in Toronto when I was leading against Hikaru. Was very nervous for the last game. The I guess, you know, yes, it's not easy to play for a win with the black pieces. You have to wait for your opponent to make a mistake. And, uh, you know, if you're worse, you can't force the issue. Maybe Arjun should have just played solidly with black and tried to win with the white pieces. Maybe that's a better option. But these matches are so short. It's just whoever wins the first game has a super large edge. Uh, four games. Uh, in Toronto, we played eight, eight games. Then at least you have a second day to come back. Uh, but with four games, you can hardly avoid to make any mistakes. That's why I kind of regret not winning game two against Magnus, because if I won that one, then I would practically have assured myself of a blitz tiebreak, maybe. Uh, but I think the strategy in these short matches is just to, you know, play it safe. You know, draw is fine. If you go to the blitz tiebreak, that's fine too. I mean, uh, players are very strong here and just Try not to lose the first one. Uh, Wesley, after these two tough matches, it must be such a relief to win a match and get yeah. back on track. Yeah, certainly. I'm very happy. Uh, but at the same time, Arjun also lost all his matches so far, uh, which is unfortunate. But it's not a sign that I'm back in the tournament yet. I have to beat someone strong, for sure. Tomorrow, you're up against Prague, another very talented yeah. and very strong Indian. What do you, what do you think about that matchup? 
yeah, at least I can see him clearly, huh? <laughs> I can look. It's fine, game four when Magnus blundered against me, he was spouting himself, so I was more curious on watching his reaction when he played Queen G6 <laughs> than anything else. Uh, but it's nice to, you know, play someone face to face. Uh, I've always been impressed by these young teenagers. You know, India has a lot, uh, Uzbekistan has a lot, and uh, um, you know, they, they're very strong. You can never underestimate these guys. All right, all the best for tomorrow, Wesley. Enjoy the day. Thank you.